Hey everybody, so I just picked up something recently. I am the Retro Regamer uh, for the Nintendo Switch. It's an accessory that's put out by uh, Waterfield Designs in San Francisco, or Waterfield Company, I'm not sure. Anyway, this is what it is. It is the Nintendo Switch City Slicker case. Um, I, As soon as I found out about the Switch, I started looking at cases because I wanted something that could hold the case, wanted something that looked good, want, I mean, wanted something that could hold the Switch that looked good. Um, I started looking at leather stuff because I'm, I'm a sucker for leather things. I'm a sucker for things that like are sturdy, built well, manufactured well, all that good stuff. So uh, the only thing that I could find really that seemed to kind of meet those qualifications was this Waterfield case. So I put in for a pre-order and uh, it just showed up today. So it came with a little thank you card. If you can see that there um, with just saying like... Uh, Thanks for helping with the development of the Nintendo Switch City Slicker. Your feedback helped shape the design. Uh, they did some stuff to make a comfortable fit. They've reinforced the sides. They did a double layer flat um, flap with, you know, um, premium, their premium leather uh, that, you know, is going to break in and wear over time. And then they include their little booklet with some of their other, like, designs and things that they do and shenanigans. But anyway, this is what we care about. So if you look here, I mean, you can see the leather's pretty scratched up and stuff. I mean, it's it's leather, so it, it, it holds any of that stuff really quickly. But as you use it and wear it, I mean, it's going to build its own character and stuff. Um, so this, I got the brown one. It came in multiple different colors. They had like a blue, a red, a black, uh, a few other colors, I think, too. So the first thing I noticed was, um, you know, it's it's not super heavy. It's It does seem pretty solid, though. It seems well built. Um, and also, it's got these magnetic enclosures, um, snaps, here, if you notice on both sides to help keep it kind of settled down there. Uh, it's got leather on both sides, it's got the black leather on this side, and the brown leather I chose on that side. Um, and inside, this is kind of what it looks like on the inside. If you notice here, it's got spots for the games, and this is actually leather as well. Uh, leather on top of nylon here. Um, and I really like the design choice that they did leather here. I was assuming it would just be like the flap, but I like that they did kind of some accents in leather as well. Um, I grabbed a game card as well of my Bomberman to see how that works. Um, so you just kind of slide it in there like that. And if you notice too, like you can see a little image of whatever your card is, which is kind of cool. And uh, then you just kind of do that to pop it back out. So that's, I mean, that's pretty easily accessible um, so you can hold up to five games right there um, the other thing I noticed which is really interesting was inside here they put this they sewed in this pocket but this is like a um, it's a different it's not a it's not the other soft material like what else is in here it's like a microfiber cloth um, that they sewed into it um, if I could have chose it would have been nice if I could have picked that color uh, as far as I know I didn't have any choice over that it just showed up and was red so um, that's kind of a con in my opinion that I didn't get to choose what color that flap was. I didn't see anything for that, but um, here's the things they're talking about on the sides uh, to help hold up the Joy-Cons. It's actually pretty brilliant. They're um, just little Velcro strips that sit on the side here. Um, yeah, there we go. To help give it some uh, rigidity and some, sturdity, some sturdiness on the side, uh, which I think is pretty brilliant. Um, to keep it from, I guess, collapsing and to make sure it's straight up and down. So let's test it out with the switch. So here's my switch. Check it out. Um, so I'm assuming you just slide it in here like this. I'm going to have the screen facing that red part there so it can get that. Okay, it slid in pretty easily. Um, didn't really affect the joysticks any. I was worried it would kind of jam up the joysticks if I did that too much, but it seems to fit pretty well even with those. You can see it fits fairly snugly, comfortably in there. I slid it in, didn't really have any problems. Um, then you just kind of fold your flap over there, hit those magnetic enclosures. Yeah, seems pretty good. Um, you know, I mean, it seems seems pretty solid. Uh, it's got two pockets in there, one kind of in the back behind the switch and one in front of it. I don't think you can fit much in there. I could fit maybe some extra Joy-Cons in here. Um, <laughs> Speaking of which, I might try that because I've got some extra ones. Um, and then also it's got the zipper pouch on the back here. But again, this is just a nylon thing. Like this is going to be for like your accessories. Maybe you'll put some headphones back here. A little, you know, the little roll-up headphones or something. Um, you're not going to want to stick anything very pokey out there. Um, and then it's got their tag there as well, it looks like. Um, so anyway, I like that. Seems like a pretty solid design. Overall, I feel pretty... Pretty good about the quality. Um, 
I feel pretty, I feel like they tried. I mean, I feel like they gave it some good attention. It seems like they took a lot of feedback. Um, there was a couple people that talked about it saying it was too much like a purse. I mean, <coughs> this pouch design kind of lends itself to being similar to a purse, but I mean, it's longer and it's like, you know, the leather, especially the double leather there kind of makes it seem more rugged to me. Um, the, especially with the brown leather, um, you know, and without any straps or anything, I didn't get any of the extra straps or any of that stuff. It seems okay to me. Uh, they put this strap here, which I think was to keep it from, you know, getting too fat or whatever. Um, so it didn't just slowly release over time as you stuck stuff in it. I think that strap is to help keep it, help it keep its form factor. Um, you know, and then there's also some soft felt here and nylon here and everything inside where the switch is, is soft. Um, the extra soft microfiber by the screen and everything else around it is like a little cushion. So, um, I'm impressed. And I mean, in my mind, this is a pretty solid case. Seems to do the job. So there you go. That's the review of the Waterfield City Slicker, uh, case for the Nintendo Switch.